Yeah, I'll tell you what, Scotty. Um, the, what, I, I can't remember exactly what you said about the knickers. Now. Well, what I was what I was saying is that the feminists are calling to uh, for women to give up wearing knickers. Right. Well, you I'll know? tell you what. I think there's nothing sexier than women's knickers. I think they're really, really sexy, and I think most people, daft as it sounds, men. Are, well, I'm, I'm talking about myself being a red blooded male here. Absolutely. Think, well, <laughs> are we all. Yeah, we, we all are. We're all red blooded males, then. Man That's is right. king of the jungle. <laughs> well, so we think, anyway. So, so our wives say. Yeah. No, no, don't go, don't go weak on me. <laughs> Heavens above, support, support my crew. I say, man is king of the jungle. That's right. Yeah, I think I am. Uh, yeah. Of course you are. Of course you are. Talking knickers, right? What I was going to say is, I think that um, given the option, I think men would most prefer to see their women in knickers. Uh, yeah. than women without them. Yeah, we're not needing shortcuts. And I think uh, I think uh, a lack of knickers would only encourage a lot more single mothers. Yeah, well, it, 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 it'd encourage something, wouldn't it, mate, in this hot weather? It'd be encouraging something, and we don't want that. And the other thing is, women assume that we wouldn't mind seeing the bits and pieces. A lot of us don't want to see the bits and pieces. No. You know, I mean, could you imagine sitting in the office, uh, you know, at 11 o'clock, having yourself a plate of wheat bangs or something, and, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're seeing far more than's good for you. No, you're absolutely right. I, th I think, I think, I think, um, it's, I think it's so much nicer to see the women in their underwear than the women without underwear. And that goes for any women, really. Well, I would assume that a woman, a woman not wearing underwear is, uh, is a slapper. Yeah, well, I think you're absolutely right. You know, I think it's as simple as that. If a woman hasn't got enough respect to cover up her bits and pieces, cover up the old man from Uncle Badge, then uh, she is a slapper. Yeah. So I would well, say any woman, any woman not wearing knickers is a slapper. Well, definitely. I would, I would agree with you 100%. Then, definitely. Mate. I really would. No doubt about it. It's as simple anyway, as that. mate, top show. I'll not keep you there. Yeah, but all right. We're right. We're one people there. I bet that young lady's back down the stairs now, She's anyway. back down the stairs, but it doesn't matter because uh, you've come on, so she'll have to ring us up again. That's right. I wonder if she's wearing knickers. I bet she is. That's enough of that now. Dinky do. Dinky do, sir. Dinky do to you, sir. Right. Now, Diane from Longcom. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Hello. Hey. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Uh, I've got to admit, I haven't heard of you until my husband told me about you. You're joking, love. I'm, I'm not joking. You must be from another planet. <laughs> Everyone's heard of Scotty McClue. I've just been sat in the car with him now, and I thought I'd give you a ring as you were on the subject of Th prostitutes. Yes, excellent. Well, I think that all prostitutes should start paying tax. Right. So you think we should legalise it? I do, yeah. Yes. Because if they legalised it, I don't think there'd be that many going about. No, why do you say that? Well, the reason why they're doing it, I reckon, in my eyes, is that because they're, they're reaping all the benefits, aren't they? They're not paying anything. So they're I mean, probably on. They're probably on the DSS. Well, there is a lot of people that is going about there that are hard working men and women that's trying to keep the families going and feeding them. And yeah, you don't need to go on the game to feed your families, haven't you? But my mother, you know, fed us, and she wasn't on the game. Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of women these days that will do that to go on the game. I think that's dreadful. I think, I think they would, you know, to feed the kids and everything. But to me, that is no excuse. No, I really do not think it is. I don't think it's any excuse. I can't see somebody, uh, somebody's kids starving just because they're not on the game. No. I mean, me personally, I would rather, before going to anything like that, I would rather go rob stuff than go and do something like that. Yes, well, I would never ever think you would want to sell your most precious asset. No, no, you I know. Wouldn't. But I do think it should be taxed, and I don't think there'd be many of them if they were having to pay the tax man a lot. Sure, absolutely. There's a lot of people out there that is going around that is having to pay uh, the tax man a lot of their wages. And if prostitutes had to do that, I don't think there'd be many of them. You think it would put a stop to it? I don't think it would put a stop to it, but I think it would make people think about it. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think about the advertising services on the telly? Uh, well, as for the person that was speaking earlier on regarding these things that were going on the telly, I do think it's from 9 o'clock onwards is fine. Uh, anything before that, no, I don't think it should be shown. There should be a watershed. Mm. 
Is that not double standards, though? Sorry? Is that not double standards? What do you mean? Well, if you think about it, yeah. um, you know, these programs, they say, this program may contain strong language and scenes of an adult nature. Everyone goes, hey! Yeah. Don't well, they? I mean, they do. I mean, I should actually have a warning at the start of this program that, uh, you know, this, this uh, may contain weak language and uh, scenes of a childish nature. Well, I've got to admit, if we're on the right subject, uh, a while ago, I was sitting here with uh, three three of my sons. Mm -hmm. One of them is only six. Mm -hmm. One of them is 11, and one of them is 14. Right, six, now, 11, and 14. Well, I was sitting watching um, just a family program, on, mm -hmm. just a family program, then all of a sudden the telly went blank. Then next minute, it come back on, and it was the adult channel showing everything. And that was at half past six in the evening. Oh, my goodness. Oh. You know, now, things like that shouldn't happen. Sure, sure. Just a bit of a blip. Anyway, hey, I better dash. Right, I'm sure, I'm sure it was purely a technical difficulty, love. I better dash. It was a technical difficulty. I've sorted it out. But I do think that men should keep it in the pants. Keep it in the pants, love. Absolutely. All right, All right that's our motto. Keep it in your pants. News time. 24 hours a day across the Northwest. This is Century 105.